Today on Handy Dad TV, I'm going to introduce you to the easiest way to have eyes all around your property. Coming up. Welcome to Handy Dad TV. I'm Chris Heider, your virtual dad in the cloud. And today we're talking about personal security. And you know I don't take personal security lightly. I have a surveillance system on the outside of my home, and I have cameras on the inside of my home, and I have an alarm system. It's not like I'm paranoid. No, I'm really not paranoid. I just like to show you guys all these personal security products. Why doesn't anyone ever believe me? But today I'm going to introduce you to a product that puts wireless motion sensors all around your property and notifies you of any movement. This is the Guardline Long Range Wireless Driveway Alarm. It comes with a sensor and a receiver. And this one happens to be long range, which is the quarter mile distance. So your sensors can be a quarter mile away from the receiver and you'll get notified of any motion out in that area. All right, let's take a look in the box. Quick start guide. User manual. That's the receiver. And it comes with one transmitter. All right, let's take a look at the transmitter first. So the transmitter is a weatherproof design. This is meant to go outside, and it's actually a camouflage green color. And it's got a little rain hood here that not only keeps the rain off of the sensor, but it keeps the sunlight off the sensor too, preventing any kind of false alarms. It's got this little pop-in window here that is in by default, so which means it has a nine degree field of view. If you take that off, it raises it to 12 degrees field of view. The guard line is designed to detect when something breaks its path within 40 feet. Whether you choose nine degrees or 12 degrees, it's a very narrow field of view compared to a motion sensor light, which is typically 180 degrees or more. But this is a good thing. It prevents false alarms. The back on it has four holes for screws, and it has a swivel that you can point it in any direction you need. In the box, it comes with anchors and screws, as well as a screwdriver. The screwdriver is a good thing to have because the screws inside it to insert the batteries are very small. So they say to be very careful with those, and this is the perfectly matched screwdriver for that. All right, be careful of losing the screws. They are pretty small. Inside it takes four AA batteries and it has a series of dip switches up top. The switches inside the transmitter enable you to customize the distance and speed sensitivity, night mode, and sleep interval of each transmitter independently. So I'm gonna put the batteries in, like so. Before I put that back together, I'm going to open the receiver. So the receiver comes with a power supply, but it also supports four AAA batteries that you can use for battery backup, or you don't have to plug it in at all. The Guardline receiver has low voltage wiring connectors that allow you to trigger other devices such as strobes or sirens, or integrate it with your home alarm or surveillance system. There's a melody button on the side that I'm pressing to cycle through all the melodies so you can get a, a sense of what they sound like. Come on, Star Wars! So by default, it went on and number one lights up when there's motion. All right, so let's talk about this. First of all, you can set up four different zones and you can put up to four sensors on each zone. That means you can have 16 sensors around your property. Remember I said the receiver can work on batteries and doesn't need to be plugged in? Well, if you like to go camping, just surround your tent with four sensors to provide a seamless perimeter alarm. You'll immediately be notified of any bears or other wild animals on the prowl during the night. <coughs> Mm. 
Now certainly something like this is designed for very large properties. If you've got a big piece of property where your house is set back far from the road, you probably have a really long driveway. Put one of these out on the driveway up to a quarter mile away and you'll get notified whenever a car pulls into your driveway. Obviously that's what it's designed for, but there are so many other uses for it, even in a yard my size. Take a look. Even though I have a relatively short driveway, I was able to install the transmitter on a small length of conduit next to this utility box. I could easily set it to detect motion on the driveway, but ignore anyone walking on the sidewalk. I also tried it on the fence at the end of the driveway, but this time I removed the insert because I wanted a wider field of view. Another useful place to protect is the gate on the opposite side of my house. I installed it on a fence post pointed towards the house to minimize any risk of false alarms caused by the neighbors. And one final great place to put one of these sensors is near the pool. The guard line works great by the pool whether you have small kids or just want to keep pool hopping teenagers out of your pool. All right, once again, this is the guard line, a long range wireless driveway alarm, but it's so much more than a driveway alarm. I'll put the links to it down in the video description below. Check it out. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you in the next one. Hey there, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon to be the first to know when new videos are posted. Look for Handy Dad TV on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and visit the website handydad.tv for more great ideas and information.